In this next problem, we want to see which equation results in no solution. Which of the following equations results in no solution? Imagine that. It's exactly what I said it would be. So we have 3x plus 5, and on the right-hand side we have 2x plus 15 plus x. So we're going to start by distributing. If we distribute, we have 3x plus 15 equals, and can we combine like terms on the right-hand side? Sure, 3x plus 15. Now we know if we have the exact same thing on either side that we're going to have infinitely many solutions, which means any number that we plug in for x here, it's going to be the same number we plug in for x here, and we're always going to get an answer that's equal to the other side of our equation. So we know that we're not going to choose no solution because we could choose any solution. So A is not going to be the answer to this question. What about B? Again, we have 3x plus 15 equals 2x minus 4. We want to subtract 2x from both sides, right? So we have 3x minus 2x plus 15 equals 2x minus 2x minus 4, which leaves us with x plus 15 on the right-hand side, excuse me, the left-hand side, and negative 4 on the right. So it's not looking like no solution here. What do you guys think? Well, we're going to have just one, because when we subtract 15 from both sides, we're going to get x by itself on the left, and on the right, we're going to get negative 19. So we have one solution there. We're looking for an equation with no solutions. So let's keep going. Next one. Again, we have 3x plus 15 when we distribute. And on the right-hand side, we can combine like terms to get 3x minus 4. So we want to subtract 3x, right? So if we subtract 3x from both sides, on the left-hand side, we're going to be left with what? 15. And on the right-hand side, we're going to be left with what? Negative 4. When does 15 equal negative 4? Never. There's never going to be an x that we can plug in here that's going to give us a balanced equation with an equal number on both sides. So, there's no solution here. We're going to choose C because there's no x that we can plug in that's going to give us equal numbers on both sides here. So, what about D? Well, let's see what the solution to D is. We have 3x plus 15 again, right? And we have 2x plus 15 on the right. So when we subtract, we've got 3x minus 2x plus 15 equals 2x minus 2x plus 15. Do you agree? Good. So we have x plus 15 equals what? 15. Good. And now what? Well, now we want to subtract 15 from both sides. So when we do that, we have 15 minus 15 and 15 minus 15, which gives us x on the left and 0 on the right. So we have one solution here, and so we don't have, well, we better put our equal sign, huh? So we don't have no solutions, which is what we were looking for and what we found in choice C. Good job solving these and identifying which one had no solutions.